When I talked about Jamil Herring throwing the Shakur Stevenson fight, I remarked on a whole bunch of things, how, you know, he was pulling his punches, obviously, how he wasn't fighting on the inside, how he was just walking into punches without a jab, how he would just stand there like a statue and let Shakur punch at him, how little he counterpunched, blah, 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 blah. But one of the, to me anyway, most blatant and obvious ways in which he facilitate, facilitated all of that was how fundamentally flawed his footwork was in this fight, right? A guy who has shown fundamentally sound footwork in the past and since this fight, as you'll see in the next little clip after this, uh, all of a sudden forgot boxing fundamentals insofar as his footwork. So I remarked about how he kept a lot of his weight for most of the time on the front foot, right? And what that does is it gives up your height, your reach, and it robs you of your punching power, right? Because there is no, as you're throwing your punches, there's no transfer from the back foot to the front foot of your weight, which just robs you of your power, right? And you're standing closer, so it's easier to hit you. And you're not shifting the weight back to the front, front to the back to extend your range and then get out of range, right? So look at Herring's foot, back foot in this little segment, right? How he steps um, with his toes a lot and keeps the weight on the toes, right? Where the front foot is planted and most of his weight is on the front foot, right? How he doesn't really plant his heel, back heel very well, right? See that? See? And he did this all night. He kept, for the most part, right, most of the time, kept the weight on, on this flat front foot, right? And when he was stepping with the back foot, he, would, he was putting most of the weight on the toes and wasn't really planting, right? Pulling his weight back so that he could shift into his punches, right? So he was just a sitting duck and he was robbing himself of his power, reach advantage, so on and so forth, right? So I've been watching this Jermaine Ortiz fight in prep for the Lomachenko fight. Um, so, you know, what I'm gonna show you here is just a little, very, very little portion of the fight, right? But go watch the fight and pay attention to what I'm talking about and you'll see how this was a pattern, right? So in his next fight, right? Herring will put a lot more weight on his back foot, right? Even though he's coming forward in this instance, right? He's planting his back foot a lot more than when he was moving backwards <laughs> against Shakur, right? See how he plants his back foot, right, to get out of range of the, these punches. Plants the back foot, right, plants the heel quickly. See how, how he shifts the weight from the back to the front. You don't even have to see his feet to see, see the weight shift, right? He's not sitting there for him, right? He readjusts his feet in order to be able to get out of range and then punch with power. Right. And he was fighting on the inside in the clinches and blah, 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 blah. Look at this little bit. Right. He's like a pendulum, right? Here we go. See how when he steps back, how much weight he puts on the on the heel, right? He just plants that foot so that he could have power in his punches, right? And then gets out of range after he sets off a punch and puts the weight back on his back foot once again, right? Now, he did that a little bit in like the first one and a half rounds of the Shakur fight and then started sucking. See how much weight? He's bending his knees, putting weight on his back foot, right? So that his front foot is in Ortiz's way and... He's further away from his punches, right? But he could spring back into his own punches, right? 
So Ortiz has to be careful, right? See how much weight he's putting on the back foot? See? Jumps right back into the back foot when he moves back, right? So that he could remain dangerous and he could spring forward. With Shakur, he was keeping the weight on the front foot, robbing himself of his power, and he literally neutered himself, right? Look how much weight he puts on the back foot. See? And that's why, even though, you know, he got hit in this instance, but that's why he puts the weight on the back foot, right? So he could sit down on some of these punches or spring back into them, right? Basic boxing fundamentals. Basic boxing 101, right? Shifting the weight from the front to the back foot. For some reason, he forgot how to do that against Shakur Stevenson. And it's it's been the same with Sergei Kavalyov when he fought Canelo. I mean, where where was that famous Russian pendulum step, right? Famous. Something that Sergei did his entire career. All of a sudden wasn't there, right? The way Bivo, even though he was... He never got out of second gear, right? And was pulling his punches too. Uh, a tactic that Bivo used to absolutely embarrass Canelo, who was swinging for the fences like the bum that he is these days. Anyway, yeah. Um, it's it's uncanny to me how so many people pretend to be boxing analysts on here, right? And they don't notice like this basic shit. Or are they just shilling, right? A lot of them have no clue what they're looking at, and, and those that do, they're willfully ignorant, or uh, they're just straight out chilling, right? Or what? You tell me. Thanks for watching.